So a little talk regarding the recent issue with crybaby Greg Doucette. He made a post about me on Instagram about something I said about his wife. He didn't like me saying that his wife was a terrible person or whatever. And apparently I'm racist because I used the phrase white boy. I'm not sure how describing what's, who someone is is racist, but okay, sure, go off. But it's true. I did say all those things, you know, and I own up to it. That's the difference between me and Greg Doucette. Whereas his wife, who I recently proved was a racist and animal abuser, would never own up to something like that. She publicly calls herself an animal lover when she literally brags about paying for animals to be murdered, tortured every single day. She literally posts these pictures of these animal products that she eats and buys every single day onto her Instagram, onto her social media. And she expects not to get caught out for that. You expect to be a social media influencer coming into year 2021 and not get caught out for something like that. Billions of animals being murdered needlessly for your taste pleasure each year and you're expecting not to get caught out for that. And then you have the audacity to call yourself an animal lover. So if you wanna see his wife get exposed for being a piece of shit, I'm gonna put a card up here, might be up here, whatever. But I called him and he didn't wanna take it up with me voice to voice. If he saw the video before it got removed, um, I called Greg Doucette and, oh, surprise, surprise, he ended the phone call after 16 seconds because he most likely heard my voice tone, I guess. So I'm basically going to be exposing today the racist comments that I've been getting from some of his supporters. And I have no proof yet that he's a racist, but I know for a fact that his wife is a racist, as you can see in that video that I made about her. So let's get right into that. And remember, crybaby Greg Doucette, anytime you want to talk voice to voice, I'm down, okay? I'm not going to go nuts on you or cuss you out or anything. We can just discuss what I said and you can stop being scared. So, I mean, it's funny. You say you're this power lifter, this uh, IFBB pro bodybuilder, so strong, world record in the bench press, but afraid of a little malnourished vegan, right? Afraid to hear the voice of a little malnourished vegan, huh? Okay. Also, recently, before I exposed the messages that some of his fans have been sending to me, he literally got um, exposed for um, snitching on his own friends during his steroid, illegal stero steroid smuggling. He literally snitched on his own friends, sold them out. Totally unreliable guy, as you can see. Snitched on all of his friends, <laughs> got them in trouble, and took the easy way out. And that's the person you guys are calling, oh, the king of the fitness industry, Greg Doucette, the doctor. He's so amazing. It just, it makes me want to kill myself. I'm going to die of cringe when you guys say that stuff. Oh, my God. Also, Greggy, I'm open to a boxing match if you're down with that. So anytime you want to put those little muscles, steroid thingies you got on your arms to use, well, we can have a boxing match, so I'm down for that as well. Now it's time to expose your racist fans for the scumbags they are. So before I show you guys the messages that were sent to me by Greg Doucette's Crybaby fans, we're going to go to uh, his profile really quick just to show you guys that I did in fact, um, I did contact him, there's his phone number, but I did send him a message Funny how you post people online and have your fan voice come fight your battles for you. Can't take things up face to face like a real man, huh? Oh, no surprise. December 1. Today's December 4. N no reply at all. So, and here's the post he made about me. Again, I'm not ashamed of anything I said. Um, Greg Doucette. I mean, I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish here, but... Uh, he basically made a post crying about what I said about his wife. Still refused to take it up to me voice to voice. Instead has his fans come say racist things to me. So I, I don't know. Maybe he even DM'd them, told them secretly to, hey, say racist things to this guy. So maybe Greg Doucette is a racist. Let me see. Hey, pussy boy. First guy. Private account. I, if you have a private account... That's already a dismissal. I can't take you seriously with a private account. Yep, here's some more. Um, it happened the, the day that he, he got mad about her or whatever. Faggot fuck. Go pick some cotton. This is the same day that he made the post. 
So, yeah, his fan saying things like, go pick cotton because I guess slavery was something to laugh about, huh? Now, I can understand, and uh, actually, this person is a racist anyway. They even said Jacob Blake uh, deserved to die. Breonna Taylor deserved to die. KKK. So these are the people who represent Greg Doucette, right? Are you the guy that Greg shared about? No crap. No crap. Um, troll. Some idiot with... Yeah, some fanboy. Let's see. What were the other ones? Leave Greg alone, bruh. <laughs> uh, okay. Tell Greg to leave the billions of animals alone that suffer for his stupid food and cookbooks. Same goes for his wife. Here's another one. You're a goof. You have the weakest physique I've ever seen, considering black people and have immaculate genes for building muscle. Seems like you're the runt of the litter. Since you like referencing people's skin color, you charcoal cuck. And as you can see, this person was smart enough to get on a fake account and comment this. And I wouldn't even be surprised if this was Greg Doucette himself. But yeah, they got on a fake account just to talk crap. So yeah, I, I don't doubt, no doubt in my mind that that would be Greg Doucette. I mean, the only thing this has really shown is that him and his fan base and his wife are racist. This is the only thing it's showed. Imagine being so pathetic that you go onto the internet to bring others down for their appearance. Fucking real life weirdo. Cool. Another weirdo who's worshiping Greg Doucette. Guy has a poor amount of muscle mass, too. So to talk down to me is kind of kind of funny. Puto, don't even speak Spanish, idiot, but cool. Mad, <laughs> mad, not really, but yep, these are all the comments from the Greg Doucette fanboys. I, as you can see, they're clearly racist. Tells me to go pick cotton. Um, tells me I'm a charcoal cook. Uh, what was the other one? But yeah, somehow... Because I said the phrase white boy, that's all out racist. But nah, telling someone to pick cotton, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, Greg totally approves of uh, telling black people to pick cotton with the large history of slavery and all the millions of black people who suffered, right? That's okay. But oh no, calling someone a white boy over the internet, that is so wrong, you know, that that's so wrong when I didn't even mean it as an insult in the fucking first place. The only reason you would take being called a white boy as an insult is if you were just not happy being a white boy. So this just proves how racist Greg Doucette is, along with his wife, I already exposed her, and his entire fan base. This is the entire reason why they were picking on Kali Muscle in the first place. It's because they're all racist and they're just trying to bring a black man down. Because that's what they were doing in the first place. It's like he didn't even have to make the video. Kali Muscle has even admitted that he's not natural multiple times. Tell me. Y'all ain't seen me strong yet. Once I up my cycle next month, <laughs> y'all watch. I thought you were natty. Huh? Aren't you natty? Not. So essentially, he just made the video starting crap for no reason. And then when Colin Muscle retaliates in a way that no one likes, they go nuts. And hey, let's give let's get a black man canceled because it's not like he has two kids to take care of. Let's get Colin Muscle canceled just because he insulted uh, someone's wife in the situation that he didn't even start in the first place. Tell Greg to keep his mouth shut or simply stand up man to man like he should in the first place. This is a grown man having his supporters fight his battles for him. And if that's who you call the king of fitness YouTube, then I guess you're just a joke to me and I can't take you seriously. So I'm sorry for that. 
And with that being said, peace out.